This is Star Wars The Vintage Collection Luke Skywalker in Bespin Fatigues. Uh, part of the uh, first wave of vintage collection figures and obviously this figure was taken from the uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back episode group of figures. Uh, back in the day, um, this was one of the figures that uh, were in de was in demand with, with a lot of the Star Wars collectors if you grew up in the 80s. Um, so there. Uh, and here he is, I have imposed in that infamous scene where he prematurely duels Darth Vader wanting to avenge his father and in the process he loses his hand and Darth Vader asks him, join me Luke. The dog said, and he said, no, I will never join you, you killed my father, and then Darth Vader, I don't know this the exact script, but says, Luke, I am your father, and, you know, I, I suppose that thing would have really worked, because um, we, we didn't know about episode 1, 2, and 3, but, uh, and I think George Lucas intended it that way, if he had shot 1, 2, and 3 first, then the episode 5 wouldn't be the highest grossing Star Wars movie to date. Okay, so here he is. No! And he, he jumps over and. Anyway. So let's get rid of his father, Darth Vader. And let's put his arm back on. Wait. Um, interesting to note uh, this figure does not come with a base, uh, sadly. He just comes as is with a bunch of accessories. Uh, Vintage figures don't have bases, uh, and I don't know if they did it on purpose because the back in the 80s or late 70s, the figures didn't really have bases, so they said, oh, it's a vintage collection, we're trying to duplicate that and do something better, so no bases for them as well. Um, okay. Uh, you can easily pop the hand out uh, just like that, or pop it in. Just like that. Very easy. There's really nothing to it. It's not too... I mean, it, and it doesn't loosen the the swivel on it if you pop it out. Um, I suppose if you pop it out one too many times, it will loosen eventually. But for my for my figure, it didn't it didn't go all loose and all. So, here is the... Oh, before we, before we say goodbye to the packaging, I'll just give you a quick look at it. Very nice. They got the original artwork. And here is the rest of the assortment of Wave 1. Okay, it's uh, that. On to the actual figure. Uh, what's nice about this figure it is, is it is an improvement of the originally released vintage collection or saga collection. I think trilogy, the trilogy collection, the limited edition vintage collection figures. Suffice to say, um, in the sense that it now has the ball hinge uh, hip joint, which was not present with the original. Uh, best spin Luke uh, in the original uh, vintage collection Luke. Also, I think I've seen uh, that figure in, in stores on clearance right now in Manila, and the head sculpt is a little bit different from this one. This one is, I think, a lot more accurate, and yeah, this is a lot more, whole lot more accurate than the previous figure. And I think this one is already bordering on Return of the Jedi Luke, uh, but not quite. Not quite, because uh, the hair is shorter here. So. so that's that. So very nice. I mean, if you already have the old, the previously released vintage collection Bespin Luke, I mean, it, it will not hurt you to get this new new updated version because and I, I can tell you honestly, the uh, ball hinge hip joint really makes a lot of difference in posability and just giving personality to this character. So I'm going to mount him here. This is a Galactic Battle Game base, uh, which... Uh, fits very nicely for these figures. He also comes with his trademark blaster pistol, which I think he used also in episode 5. No, I think he, he really used it in episode 5. Fits very nice, uh, nicely on his, on both, both hands. Um, it's a little bit bent on mine, so that's that. Very nice. Just adjust it. Uh, and it fits on the holster. So, I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, both his hands are pistol grips. I don't know why Hasbro did that. I wish one was really a, uh, more of a clenched, sort of a cupped grip uh, to hold the lightsaber 
more effectively. But I suppose, you know, given the pistol grip, you can, it allows Luke to point the lightsaber forward, I suppose, instead of just having it upright like that. Also, he comes with a lightsaber that does not have a blade on it. Although, if you did have an extra set, an extra blade, you could, I think, stick one in because there is a hollow part right there at the tip and it's not, it's not solid. So, hmm, interesting. Also, it has a peg, just like this one, that you can peg right here on his pistol belt. There is a small hole just underneath the buckle, to the left of the buckle, which you can poke that peg in and let it hang like that. I mean, that's how the usual, usually how the Jedi's let their sabers hang. Okay, that did not sound too good. Anyway, you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to let it hang like that for now. Okay, I'm going to get a lot of comments on that. So, there he is. Fantastic looking figure. I kicking myself right now for not getting this one sooner and I'm really glad a lot of a lot of a lot of you guys out there really egged me on to get this figure and I'm I'm really happy I got him. Uh, and I, I you know apologies for judging this one too quickly. I love this figure. I couldn't recommend it any more than I already have. Very nice, very well made, great update of the Best Pin look that was previously released. So there you go. The Star Wars Vintage Collection, Luke Skywalker in Bespin, in Bespin Fatigues from the Empire Strikes Back Wave. Thanks for watching.